Hey, if you have the same issue that your Redmi Watch 3 Active cannot be updated uh, with the phone application, so when you click right here, you have the notification that you cannot actually do this. So uh, in my case, the fix what was that I performed the factory reset on the watch. So to do this, we have to click on the side button. Let me just catch focus on it. There we go. Click on the side button, then scroll down all the way down, click on the settings, then scroll down all the way down, go to the system, scroll down one more time, go to the factory reset. And now, uh, before you click right here, just be sure that on the application, you click to unpair your device, click continue. There we go. And now just repeat. Okay, right now it just turns off. So we are gonna repeat the same. Now select the language and scroll down, click on this information icon. Then scroll down and click to factor reset. Confirm. And now uh, the last thing that we have to do is to go to the Play Store and reinstall this application. So get rid of it and then simply install it one more time. Now we have to set up these devices for the second time. So first of all, on our Redmi Watch Free Active, we have to select the language. So in my case, it will be English and we can connect by scanning the QR code, but I'm gonna actually um, simply download this application. Okay, for some reason it is not downloading. There's like 0%. So I'm gonna click to cancel and tap to repeat. As you can see right now, it is downloading. So all we have to do is just to wait. And as you can see uh, here in the right upper corner, we've got also information about the battery level. So just be sure that it is above 20%. There's always uh, to better to have, you know, at least the 20% of the battery because uh, under the updating, it could be totally discharged. Sorry for my language, for my English, but it's not perfect. I'm still learning. After a few seconds, just um, go to the application and open it. So click here, tap start, click to agree the user agreement. Now select your region, click next, tap on the device, click to add device, turn on the Bluetooth, accept these permissions. Select your Redmi Watch Free Active and then tap to sign in to the Xiaomi account. Click to sign in and accept this user agreement one more time. <coughs> now just wait until you will be completely locked into the application. Okay, it takes definitely too much time. So let's restart this application and let's do this one more time. Let's repeat the same steps. Click to sign in. As you can see right now, we are logging. Select the device. Now it is connecting. Accept this permission on the phone and the same on your smartphone on your smartwatch. Sorry, I'm terrible today. Here we have the quick guide. So click next, click next, click done. Here we can enable the notifications. Click set. Accept the permissions. And then you can finally go back. Okay, and here go back one more time, as I said before, and, and uh, tap to update. And now check if this update is working. Um, and that's basically it right now. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.